Okay, it's about 3 p.m. here, and I am absolutely starving today. My stomach will not stop growling. I normally would not eat yet, but I'm going to. This is almost an ounce of the Gouda smoked bacon cheese. Um, this is a quarter dark meat from the Boston Market chicken last night. And then I'm going to have me a flavor water, and two hours ago I already had a collagen coffee. I never, never eat this early, but I'm dying. Good afternoon, morning, or evening, depending on when you're watching this. It is almost 6 here. Um, welcome to my channel, Fat to Keto. My friends call me Jelly. This is where we follow my weight loss through the ketogenic diet. So far, I've lost 177 pounds. I have to do the math. Maybe it's a little more now, or maybe it's right at that. I think it's 177 pounds because I was having water weight issues um, in the past week since I was in Hawaii and went off keto for four days and then had a long flight home. Um, I went about 15 pounds in water weight, but I am very, very, very happy to say I started the month off of August at 193. Then I went up those almost 15 pounds um, and then now I am down to 192. So the water weight is officially completely off as of this morning. Um, I am very, very excited. I think I'm just one pound away from my lowest. I have to look it up again and see the one or two pounds. I can't remember if I hit 190 or 191. However, when I did hit it, I hit it while I was sick. Um, so right now I'm counting this as my lowest because I have not been sick. I will tell you, I did not eat a lot of fat yesterday. I lost 2.4 2 pounds yesterday, um, and I peed a whole lot, so it all went on my body. I did not eat a lot of fat. I did eat, ended up eating at least 1,200 calories because I ended up eating a lot of pork rinds. Um, and the carrots didn't affect me, and the fat bomb didn't affect me from the Slim Fast Keto thingy because I, hello, 2.4 pounds. I'm very excited. Um... So, none of that seemed to affect me yesterday, hopefully, other than I'm really hungry today. Usually when I have that massive weight loss, unfortunately, the next day I am famished and starving. But, I have more willpower than the growling in my stomach. As you saw in the video, it is 6 o'clock and I have only had one collagen coffee. I'm on another collagen coffee right now and I did have that piece of chicken and I also had um, that almost one ounce of cheese. It satisfied me for a while up until 30 minutes ago and I got starving again. However, I am having Zaxby's Weens for dinner tonight around 7 and it is 6 so I gotta go to Walmart real fast and pick them up so I'm not gonna eat right now. I'm just going to deal with the growling stomach. People's just gonna have to hear it because it is growling that loud. Um, and a lot of people's like, no, 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 you're supposed to eat when you're hungry. Yeah, if you're new to keto and you're hungry, yes, eat something because... Otherwise, usually in the beginning, when you've eaten all the time and you're not used to feeling hunger, you will end up giving up and maybe walking away because you don't like feeling hungry. However, I have done a lot of intermittent fasting. I've done a lot of different fastings too. Um, the fastings don't work for me. It raises my sugar too high and sometimes so is intermittent fasting. So I've gotten used to the feeling of hunger sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't mean you're actually hungry. It could just be your body does want more fat or it could be it needs more fluid. And I haven't drank too much fluid today yet so I'm drinking some flavored waters to see if that calms down the hunger as well. Um, and it's okay to feel hungry sometimes because here's my theory that has worked so well for me is I still have a lot of fat on this body and I fuel my body with fat. Which means right now my body is hungry, so it's eating its own fat for energy. And that theory has always worked for me. It has never once failed me. I don't get sick from it or nothing. Um, and I don't even get cranky. I just deal with a little bit of hunger. If I wasn't going anywhere and did not plan on getting wings tonight, I would go into the kitchen right now and grab some of that soup I made or make me a bacon eater burger or something. But because I have plans, I can deal with waiting an hour and a half or so to eat. I'm that far into my journey now that I can handle it. Almost two years. 
I'm going to do a little video of two-year progress and stuff on the two-year day. Um, and I can't wait to see the 180s. Oh my gosh, I, I thought I was going to get there in July, but then I took a trip to Hawaii and... Yeah, I didn't lose weight in Hawaii. I gained weight, but that weight's all gone now, so I'm okay with that, okay? I'm good. Um, it was a once in a lifetime, well, not I go twice a year, but <laughs> the whole thing is sometimes you just gotta live. Um, like on the Keto Diamonds channel the other day and a few days ago, I was saying that it's okay if you choose to cheat on special occasions or when you want, but I am not going to call mine cheats any longer. I am calling them Keto Timeout Mill, meaning I'm just taking a little vacation or a little timeout. I'm not cheating because I've decided there's no such thing as cheating as long as I don't eat non-keto food every single day. Now that's falling off the wagon and messing yourself up permanently and all this other crap. But this is my life forever. I will be 99% keto. But on Christmas, if I want to eat my mother's nachos, which I have not eaten for two years because I'm keto, well this Christmas, I'm going to eat the nachos. It's okay to have the one meal. It's not like I'm downing tons of cakes or anything. If I want, and truthfully on Easter, I don't miss anything, I'm not eating carbs, uh, and because I do eat the lima beans because that's the only thing I miss, and I do 20 carbs and lima beans, I don't miss the rolls or anything like that, so Easter's going to be easy. I can stay completely keto for Easter, I don't need the candy. Halloween's always been rough for me because my daughter gets a lot of candy, um, but... Sometimes I can resist it. I think I res no, I didn't resist last year. I did. I resisted for two days, and then I got into her candy. So I've decided fighting it just makes me binge. So if I decide I want some candy on Halloween, I'm going to eat a few pieces so I don't binge later because I feel like I deprived myself and blah, blah, blah. Um, Thanksgiving, I miss the cornbread. So I will probably be eating cornbread on Thanksgiving. I don't miss the mashed potatoes. So that will not be, I miss the dressing. So I'll probably be eating dressing, not cornbread. But that's my choice. And that's your body, your life, your choice. You wanna go off for your daughter's birthday, your son's birthday, your husband's birthday, your birthday, a friend's birthday, and have a piece of cake? Go right ahead. However, Sometimes that might be a little hard if you have a lot of friends and family and they have birthdays constantly because you're going to put on that water weight and never be able to take it off if you're always having a time out. So that's why I've decided on those holidays, they're so far apart and I'll probably do it this Christmas. I won't do it this Halloween because I really, really, really by February want to get to my weight goal. Um, so we'll see where I stand at Christmas. If I can, I want to at least lose 30 to 50 more pounds, and I want to lose them before I go back to see my baby. I usually lose about 40 to 60 pounds every six months, um, give or take, so hopefully I can do that again, and I'll finally be at my goal, and then I just have to work on maintaining, and I know how to maintain weight. I am great at maintaining. I seem to find my happy spot really fast and easy. That's why I have to tuck my diet and tweak it here or there because I have to take more weight to lose more, to minus or plus stuff so my body can keep losing because it lights where it gets and it wants to stay. Right now, I'm very lucky to say that the carrots are not affecting me. I'm eating about three ounces of carrots a day. That is where I'm getting my carbs other from, other than if I was to eat a fat bomb here or there. But that's where my carbs are coming from right now, which equals about six or seven carbs, give or take. Um, so I'm happy that I can do the carrots and celery. The sour cream, I think, was what was affecting me. It is no more in my diet. So I am good to go. And I will totally come on here and talk to y'all some more. My elbow is feeling a lot better as long as I don't touch it. Um, which I just smacked it, so that's why I pointed it out. Um, but I really got to get to Walmart, get my daughter's locker, or lock for her locker, and get a few items before I hit Zach Squeeze on the way home. And as I said, ah, this girl is starving and can't wait to go get that food and come home with it. I originally wasn't going to eat it, but my dad 
football night and he wants them for his football game. So hello 10 weens coming in my way because I'm eating them and their salad dressing does not affect me at all. It's one carb per pack. I eat two packs with the 10 weens and I don't go up in weight. But we'll see. I might go up tomorrow from it because usually when I have a two and a half pound weight loss, the next day I go up about a pound. Don't know yet. And I haven't been active at all today. I am lazy and don't feel well. And yeah, I seem pretty hyper right now, but that's because I'm starving and I'm ready to go. I don't even know if y'all heard me whispering just then. But I will be back in just a little bit and I will show y'all my wings, which are amazing. I hope they don't overcook it. Sometimes they overcook it. They better not overcook them because I'm really looking forward to them. It is 8.20 and I'm absolutely starving. So I have 10 weans, a little bit of celery, and some of their ranch. The ranch comes to three carbs in it. Um, these are unbreaded, unseasoned. So yeah, I'm gonna eat them, all of them, because I'm absolutely starving. Okay, so it's about 10 o'clock at night. I ate all 10 wings, and I did have one of those little um, Slim Fast Keto Fat Bombs today. I've had um, one Mountain Dew, um, two collagen coffees, so yeah. And that's my thing, I'm going to eat those wings way slower. I was so hungry, I kind of devoured them, and I think I ate too much because I feel so full that I could just die right now. My stomach has been hurting for almost, I think, hour and a half now since I ate them. I feel tons. It's like I ate a big giant green salad or something. Like I feel like there is a brick in my stomach and I think it's because I downed them way too fast. I was starving. I didn't eat any of the celery. Um, or maybe it's because this time I ate three packs of the ranch instead of just two. I am not sure, but I do know usually drinking a hot drink, especially coffee, usually helps you digest your food and calms down your intestines and everything else um, if you suffer from stomach pain. So I'm about to just make me a regular coffee um, and see if that helps. We'll see tomorrow. If my weight goes up, because I barely ate anything today, um, it's either from the ranch or it's from those weans. Or it's just because I lost 2.4 pounds today. Well, from yesterday. But, so, yeah. Um, I don't usually eat weans like this, and I've ate them twice now in the last week. So, they are full of calories, but I figured yesterday, a lot of y'all don't track calories, but sometimes I have to, or I stall out. But yesterday, I really didn't eat that many calories at all, so it kind of washes itself out. Plus, I've been more active today. Um, but yeah, on the 30th, my new Samsung Note 10 Plus comes in, which I'm really excited for, including the new memory chip. So my phone will be one terabyte. And I'm really excited. I'm really excited to try the selfies and to try recording on it and taking pictures and trying it out. And... I will be thrilled not to have to keep erasing my videos or because I like to keep some of them on my phone and I keep having to erase and erase and erase, especially the videos of the kids. I don't like ever erasing them. I know I put them on the computer, but I like to have them with me at all times. So I'm really excited about that. Um, but yeah, we'll see what my weight does in the morning because Right now, I really don't want to throw up, and that's how I feel. So, I'm going to try the coffee thing. Used to work when I was younger. I'm hoping it'll work still. But, I will let y'all go. Make me some coffee. Put this video together because I'm dead exhausted. And probably will go to sleep very, very shortly.